Here's a very brief rundown of a very common but often misunderstood plumbing rough-in layout, the classic three-piece bathroom wet vent system, which always includes a toilet, a lavatory, and a shower or a bathtub. Let's start with the toilet, which must always be the most downstream fixture that's part of the group. As we work our way upstream, notice that the pipe diameter is larger than it needs to be, two inches, to convey drainage for the lavatory and the shower, which would otherwise only need to be sized inch and a half. The entirety of this two inch pipe is the actual wet vent and is oversized because it's dishing out double duty to carry both drainage and air to the toilet and sink. The wet vent must remain two inches throughout all the way to the lavatory's connection, which must be in a continuous waste and vent configuration to provide maximum air to the wet vent. Upstream of the lavatory's connection is the continuous vent which eventually leads to open air and only needs to be inch and a half in size because its job is to provide only air, no drainage, to all three fixtures downstream of it. 